Hello, welcome to section 6, Data Center Resiliency, in which we will cover vSpace HA and vSpace Fault Tolerance. This section will cover with the multiple topics in which we are going to take a look at understanding of vSpace HA, configuring vSpace HA, migrating virtual machines using vMotion and storage vMotion, and understanding of vSpace Fault Tolerance. This topic is specific to understanding of vSpare high availability, which is also known as vSpare HA. In this video, we are going to cover what is vSpare HA, how vSpare HA helps, component of vSpare HA, HA architecture, types of host failure, and what is required to configure vSpare HA, and how vSpare HA works. What is vSpare HA? So we have ESXi host on the bottom layer and by any chance if any ESXi host goes down then what will happen to the virtual machines running on th that particular ESXi host. So vSpare HA will help providing and migrating all the virtual machines which are running on that particular ESXi host to the another working ESXi host. So that is a feature of a vSpare which provides availability for the virtual machines. How vSpare HA helps? It provides availability. So by any chance if any hardware goes down then it will automatically fail over the virtual machines to the different hardware. And we do not have to be dependent on the particular hardware. It reduces planned downtime. Like if you want to do any kind of maintenance activity on ESXi host, you do not need to take downtime of virtual machines. You simply migrate all virtual machines running on that particular ESXi host to the e different ESXi host. And then you can perform the maintenance activity. It also reduces the unplanned downtime. By any chance, if any ESXi host has any unplanned failure, then vSpeedHA HA will automatically migrate all virtual machines running on that particular ESXi host to the different ESXi host. So we do not have larger downtime in that case. It protects against the ESXi host failure. As I said that virtual machines are running on the ESXi host. So by any chance ESXi host goes down then it will fail over all machines to the different ESXi host. So it protects against the ESXi host failure. It also protects against the data store failure. By any chance, if any data store has any issue, then all virtual machines in that particular data store will perform and migrate to the another data store using the feature storage vMotion. It also protects against the application failure. So vSpare HA keeps the monitoring of the operating system and virtual machine. And in the event of failure, it reset the virtual machine to the another available ESXi host. Protects against the network isolation. By any chance, if there is any kind of network isolation between the ESXi host, then it will automatically fail over to the another available ESXi host. So that is how the vSpare HA helps in providing the better availability in your virtual environment. Components of vSpare HA. So we have different components like FDM agents, HostD, VPXA, VPXD, Master, Slave and vCenter. These all are components of vSpare HA. So whenever you install or enable the vSpare HA on a cluster, it will install FDM agent on each ESXi host. That FDM agent will communicate with the host agent on that particular ESXi host. And vCenter keeps getting the input from the FDM agent and provide the vSpare high availability. And what is master and slave? In a cluster, we have one ESXi host will be work as a master and remaining ESXi host will work as a slave. So slave keep giving the data of health status of the ESXi host to the master 
and master keep the track of those all inputs and provide the availability. If we'll go in a deeper mode, then we'll look at the HA architecture. On each ESXi host, we have VPXA and Hosty agent. And VPXA communicates with the Hosty, and Hosty communicates with the FDM. And on each ESXi host, we have shared data store, and FDM agent, which is running on the master ESXi host, will keep communicating with the data stores, which is running on a each ESXi host. And FDM also keep communicating with the other FDM agent which are running on the slave servers. And VPXA will provide the information about the ESXi host to the vCenter server and FDM will provide the information about the heartbeat and other high availability status about the other ESXi host which is running on the environment to the virtual center server. Types of host failure. We have three types of host failure. One is partition, one is isolated and third one is failure. Partition. Partition is something when we have multiple ESXi hosts running as a master and slave. Then the network communication will break between the ESXi host of master and slave. So master will be segregated and slave will be work as a separate instance. Isolated. In case of any ASXI host which is running as a slave will get disconnect with the master so that host will be considered as a isolated. Host failure. By any chance if any ASXI host in that cluster will goes down so that particular ASXI host will be considered as a host failure. Now coming to the point, what is required to configure vSphere HA? So we required vCenter server, vSphere standard licenses, at least three ESXi host, which is recommended, but you can also enable by using the two ESXi host. And all ESXi host must be in a vSphere cluster. And we should have shared data stores and shared networking. And vCenter HA network latency between the active passive and witness node must be less than 10 milliseconds. So this is a requirement when you are configuring to the vSphere HA. How vSphere HA works? First you need to create a vSphere cluster. Then you will add minimum 2 and it is recommended to add at least 3 ESXi hosts in that particular cluster. Once you will enable the HA on that particular cluster, it will automatically install HA agents which is also known as FDM agent on all ESXi host. Once installation of FDM agent will get complete, then one ESXi host in that particular cluster will be work as a master and another ESXi host will work as a slave. And master host will be responsible to communicate with the vCenter to monitor the state of all protected virtual machines and of the slave host. And master host uses network and data store heartbeat to determine the failure. And by any chance in the event of host failure, virtual machines resided on that particular ESXi host will be migrated to the another ESXi host. So this is how a vSphere HA works. So that's all from this topic. In next topic, in next video, we are going to take a look at how we configure a vSphere HA in a virtual data center. Thank you. Stay connected.